Hello everybody and welcome back. We can now unlock the candy tree seed crafting recipe. Nice. That will be very, very useful. So welcome back to uh, Coral Island where we've made a very humble start to our farm. And I have, uh, oh, it's raining today. Wonderful. And I also have some mail. Uh, looking for a way to pass the time or maybe want to earn some extra coins while waiting for your crops to grow. When you have a moment, come to visit us at the beach shack. We have some welcome gifts for you from Sunny and Eleanor. Introducing the basic bag. It has a total of 20 compartments. That's five more than a basic tool belt. Carry more, do more, worry less. Available now at Sam's General Store for 500 coins. Now, I can look at the calendar. Uh, I was going to spend 400 on a calendar, right? But I can look at that in the town centre until I can afford, easily afford it. So I think that might be what I will do for now. Uh, do I plant my wild seeds? Do you know what? I'm going to make another little 3x3. Um, three three, and this is just going to be a plot where I put wild seeds. And whatever grows, grows. Seems as I don't have to water today, which is wonderful. Might as well take advantage of that. So these are going to take a, a little while still. So we're still waiting on harvesting the first crop. Uh, I've got six more townies that I can meet. I can also spend a bit of my stamina on like, trying to clear the land out a little bit more. It would be nice to have this whole area. I might not be able to get that stump. That stump says to me... Yeah. Says to me, can't break with current tool. That does not surprise me at all. But I can get the rest of this area relatively clear. And that will give me plenty of room for the bits and pieces that I want to do to start with. We can also go around foraging, um, and we can go and see Sunny and Eleanor and see what they've got for me. Maybe, maybe fishing or something? That's something I could do to make a bit of money. I really want that upgraded backpack. I've got a feeling that that's going to be important. This is a game that is full of things to pick up. So I feel like the more of that stuff I've got, the better. Let's just get rid of some of the weeds around. I always want to do a little bit of clearing on my house every day that I can. Because otherwise this massive, huge place will... But at the same time, you don't want to do too much or it gets totally overwhelming. I need to go and dump some stuff into the chest. I might need to make another chest soon, I don't know, but mo a lot of stuff is gonna stack. A lot of stuff is gonna stack. I will sell things like tulips and the shells I picked up, but I'm gonna keep the trash, the stone, the wood, all of that sort of thing. Because it's that's building materials and I might need that for the next house upgrade I do or something. So I'll put those guys in the shipping bin for now. start picking up things like hay. Hay I will keep though. Well, that looks like it's like fodder that I can use to maybe feed animals once I get to that point. Obviously we're only on like episode two, day three of the entire game so you know animals are going to be in the future for us obviously. I think I'm going to take this tree down. And then we're going to go find Sunny and Eleanor. I don't think I've met them yet. So that'll be an extra two people for my Meet the Townies quest. Which is also quite wonderful. There, I've got a nice little clear corner now of my, my farm. And I feel like that'll be plenty for me to be going with. Right, let's go see Sunny and Eleanor. Also, keep the path clear. Wow, this path is uh, not very clear at all. This is a very, very unclear path. I might have to go and clear the path around the farm as well. 
It's nice that that's already there because that means I don't have to try and make little paths of my own. Although I might put like a, a temporary sort of boundary fence path, something like that here so that I can say this is my area for my farm for my crop planting. And then this over here is my area for like chickens and animals and things like that. And then this area over here would be like a workshop area, that sort of thing. I don't know whether there'll be workshop things. I'm actually, I can't remember a lot of things on this. Crafting, let's see, backpack. Farming artisan. So there's gonna be some artisan making things. There's gonna be some decor so I can make a, like a little trash fence, <laughs> a little trash gate and a little trash path. I mean, you can also make stone and wood paths. So I can definitely already separate the farm out, which is amazing. Uh, that was one thing I kind of hated about uh, Sandrock, because there was no paths or flooring. I, I would love it if they added that later. Who are you? Oh, Raj, I already met you down on the beach, didn't I? Let's go and see if I can find where Sunny and Eleanor live. There's a stranger on the way down there. There's a stranger on the dock there. Uh, there's the coral in. Sunny's Beach Shack. Okay, so that's where we want to head for, I think, down to the beach. So we want to go down to the south there, talk to that stranger, talk to that stranger, and then go across to the beach shack. That totally makes sense. I will harvest that. It looks like wasabi. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's the nice thing about having a chest already. Right, so there was someone here. Up on the dock. Apparently. Oh yeah, hello. Oh, can I talk to you? No, apparently I can't talk to you there. Fine. See if I care. I will go and find Lynn and Sunny. Uh, no, Sunny and Eleanor even. And whoever that was there has moved. But I think there's a few people in the beach shack, so we'll go and have a little chat to them. See what they've got to say for themselves. What? Sunny, we can't do that to the new farmer. Poor thing, we'll get overwhelmed if we give both things at once. Okay then, we start with fishing. Who doesn't like fishing? Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea to... Welcome, a new face at last! Shelab, isn't it? <laughs> Jim, Shelab is here! Nice to meet ya! Hmm? Nice to finally meet you, Shelab. Come, have a seat. We were just discussing your welcome gifts. Okay. It's fine if you prefer to stand. Got to keep those leg muscles strong. Eh, eh, eh. I'm trying to like be shouty without actually blasting all of your ears. Speaking of leg muscles, I have the perfect workout for you. Catching bugs. Sit, she lab. So, how's farm life so far? Nothing I can't handle. Eh, hey, hey, that's the spirit. Resilient youngster. Reminds me a lot about myself. Settle a debate for a she lab. Which is the better activity? Fishing? Or fun and ever exciting bug catching. They both suck. <laughs> hey, my wife, the competitive ladybug. I do like collecting the things, but sometimes I don't like fishing games. And, and quite often, actually, I think I slightly more dislike bug catching. But it depends on the game, whether the bug catching is easy or whether it's hard. And I've got a feeling this one is hard. <laughs> Fishing is more relaxing. I, I hate it to break it to you two, but I prefer tiling. No, I'll go with fishing. Ah, I knew it. Did you hear that, love? She allowed me right. Fishing is indeed a better practice. How do you not scare the fish off? Oh my goodness. Well, in any case, here's our welcome gift for you. Fishing rod and a bug net. Thank you. You can sell your catch or donate it to the museum. Looks like they're going to need it. Good luck. Okay, so hopefully that has counted as me. Oh, it sent the bug net to my mailbox. Okay. Hopefully 
that counts. Yes, it does. So, who are you? Eva. Nice to meet you too. My name's Everest. Eva for short. There's a couple of people over here. Watcher is busy and can't talk right now. That's annoying. And then have we met Jim? Oh, is it raining? No wonder it's colder than usual. That's 28. And have I technically met you? Sunny, there's nothing wrong with a little rain here and there. It certainly cools you off. 28 still. Okay. Let's have a look around all of the different um, areas and see if anywhere like the tavern or one of the buildings that is publicly owned is uh, has anyone in that I haven't met yet. Apparently there's some... Oh yeah, Wataru I couldn't talk to. Frank and Erica's house. Yeah, well why don't we see if we can get to Frank and Erica's house. There's also someone in fish and ships that I haven't met as well. There's someone in the salon. Um, so there's the community center. It's full of people. That would be the place to go. I wonder how we get there. Once I've met the 30, I'll just like meet people as I'm walking around. I won't make a big effort after that. We've uh, had two episodes now where we're, we've made a big effort. I'll just be like, oh, you, I haven't talked to you before. All right, so community centre is right ahead of me. Perfect. It's just right up here. Community centre. Oh, hello. Lily. Yes? I've met Lily now. That's my 29th person. Who are you? And Theo. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about you. You're that new farmer from San Francisco, right? That's right. P Pokio. I'm Theo. Okay. Uh, to craft items, press I. I will not press I. I will probably press escape all the time and then just choose what menu I want because that is how I roll. Uh, Q and R to go to the crafting menu. Select an item to view its required materials. With the necessary materials on hand, press click to craft. I already did that to make my chest. Alright, so I can make a flower bouquet. Actually, it is pressing I, isn't it? Crafting. I think you can press B as well. I'm pretty sure you can press B. Yeah. B takes you to relationship. So crafting. So if you were on a controller, you would have to be pressing buttons back and forth, but I am not, I'm on a mouse so I can click things, which is amazing. I really need that backpack upgrade pronto. So I'll sell my wasabi, my violet, um, my oak seeds, a few of these. I might do some more beach combing even. And I will sell things so I can get stuff. Um, anyway, crafting. Flower bouquet. Any flower. So I need five flowers from around the place. Which means I've got to go all the way back to my house. Oh, do you know what I'm, What might be better, actually, is to wait for my flower crop to be done. I've got a crop of daffodils on the way. That might be better than trying to find flowers by running around the place. Don't know. Unless there's somewhere where there's a lot of flowers. There's a tulip there. Would that stack? Bag's pretty full. No. Okay. I will head back to my house and I'll put some stuff in my box. So I'm going to save flowers for now. Who are you? Jack. Just call me Jack. I run the local ranch. Your lot has plenty of space to raise livestock. Once you're settled, maybe we can discuss raising animals. I want to get to know these people a bit more. Know their little personalities and things. And then I can work out who I like and who I don't like. Not that I won't like any of them, but there'll be ones that I have a preference for, no doubt. And it, a lot of it will depend on personality, a little bit on looks, a lot on personality. Okay, so let's just put some stuff away. So I don't need an oak seed in my inventory, or fibre, or hay. The 
the seashell and the wasabi are going to get sold. The stone and the amber can go away and the wood can go away. So wasabi and the shell. And I will find out. Uh, I don't know how much things cost at the moment because I, I imagine that as I ship them, I will start to learn their, their values. Um, your inventory was full earlier. So here is your claim gift. And next. And your bug net. Lovely. Feel like I'm going to really need... That inventory. Oh, I was supposed to. No, I'm keeping the violets, aren't I? They're going in my box. So any flowers that I come across, I'll put in the box. And if I manage to find enough flowers before, then that will all be fine. Okay, so I think in my journal, I've now finished the quest for meeting the villagers. Uh, oh, how not? No, quests. There we are. Completed. Um, making friends. Oh, right. So my flower bouquet is part of the making friends quest. So we haven't finished that yet. Got to find the flowers for it. Well, let's have a run around and see if I can find any. There was one in the winery. But let's have a look around here. So there's another wasabi there. I can sell that. What are you? You're like a little snail guy. I can catch you. Yes, I can. My backpack is still massively full. So I've got to be careful how many bugs I go and run around catching. And I don't know whether I need to keep the bugs because I think I'm probably going to be some kind of What's this? It's a temple. It won't budge. There's a lot of things that won't budge in this game. I'm hoping I'll find out. I'll find more uh, answers to things this time around. Because there were a few things I never found an answer to. I'll go and grab that uh, tulip from outside the winery. There's the hot springs. I'm a bit lost at the moment, I'm going to admit. Are we going back to my farm now? Yes. Let's have a bit more of a look around. There's got to be more flowers around somewhere, right? Got to be. Probably should have taken the opportunity to Gosh, the winery's up these stairs isn't it I should have taken the opportunity to drop things off when I ran past my chests uh, I should probably make another chest as well I think that's gonna I've got this feeling that's gonna run out of room very very swiftly okay so there's a flower there a canola and a tulip so we now have, there's a violet back at home as well. Four out of five. That must be counting the stuff that's at home because... Hmm. Let's just keep running around and see what I can find. There's only one more flower somewhere in this entire map, right? That might be something. Are you a flower? You are. So I think I can make my bouquet now. Yes, I can. Okay, so now what does it want? Gift my bouquet to someone. Right, I'm going to head over to the tavern. Oh, look, there's a person. Hello. Surya. I said like winter's over with. I feel a lot better now. Can I gift you? It's, I'm taking away. Excuse me, I just want to be indoors. Okay. How about Ben? I sell a bit of everything. Some stuff's rare, my friend. I don't exactly specialise, you know. Does it need to be, like, on my hot bar, then? To gift it? 
take the snail off my hotbar and put the... Yeah, I can give that to Ben. My inventory's kind of eclectic, I guess. Something like that. Hmm, he doesn't want it. Okay. Let's head down to, like, the tavern or something. Um, I'm going to constantly be doing that, like, heading into the recycling centre instead of down the stairs. I'll learn the map a bit more. I, I remember it a bit from early access. Shall I go into the museum? Jack, do you want a... Do you want a... A bouquet? No? Eh? Whoa, you really went all out with the whole gift thing. I don't know what to say. Oh, he likes bouquets. How nice. Let's pop in the museum and go and have a look in there. Who are you? You look very sad. I came to give you a snail. Do you want a snail? Scott. No, they haven't magically returned. What have you lost? I like Scott. Oh, hello there. You're Sheila, right? I'm sorry you caught me at a bad time, but... Look at this, it's so empty, my life's work. <laughs> Displaying nothing is so high concept, it's great. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks, I worked hard to fill the museum. What happened then? Well, it wasn't completely filled up, but at least not empty like this. I'm not gonna lie, when Millie told me the town was going to sell all of our collection, I was furious. It's not a feeling that I'm used to. The one thing I was good at that made me feel useful is going to be taken away from me. I couldn't stand it. But deep down, I knew the town really needed the extra funds to clean the oil spill. There wasn't much I could do about it. So I went back to my folks to cool down and think about what I'm going to do next. That's when I realised I had two options. Am I going to continue the pity party, or am I going to rebuild the museum's collection now the town isn't in an immediate crisis? That's right, I'm going to rebuild the collection. By the way, Sheila, I've heard some things about you. People tell me you're good at finding things. Now, I'm not too bad at it myself, but I can certainly use that skill of yours. If you find anything interesting, why don't you bring it over? I can bring anything? Not anything anything. We have a list of items we want to display. Things like historical artifacts, fossils, critters, sea creatures, and so on. Just drop by whenever, and we'll see if anything in your bag can be displayed in the museum. Okay. So what do you say, Sheila? Want to help me fill the museum with treasures of the island? Yes, please. That's what I like to hear. So we're steaming ahead with these quests and things. And we've just opened the museum. Fantastic. Let's go and have a little look. Donate item. My snail can go in. Hurrah! Oh, and it looks like I got... Did I get some glass as a reward? Collect reward. Oh, collection rewards. Fossils, insects, fish, sharks, critters. And can we see, like... Can't see what they want. I just have to find it and hope. Is that right? And the museum's a bit sorry at the moment. A little bit sad. But there are many, many, many things to find. Um, I don't know. Let's just right click on this again. So, donate item, collection rewards. So, fire gems, gem collection, earth, water, and wind gems. Vintage artifacts. So I'm guessing we can go mining, or like maybe I can find gems like under the sea or something. Fish, sharks, critters, artifacts. But it's only if I finish each collection. Three types of shark. So the sharks and the gems might be a bit easier, but insects are going to be a nightmare. If they're not going to actually tell me what I need to get. Uh, let's have a look. Anything that can help with that. Might have to be like a wiki job. To find the ones that I don't find eventually. 
Do we have like a, maybe we have a relationship inventory crafting quests. Journal, found. Here we go. So this is all the stuff I can find. That's the one. And I'll be able to see what I'm missing. Or at least how much I'm missing of something, what I've already got. Scavengeables, fossils, gems, artifacts, bestiary, extras. Player produce, port, found extras, bestiary notes, badges. Derek and Ratty are extras apparently. So do we have like a relationship tab as well? Oh, I see. Gosh, there's a lot of people we haven't met. So these are these are all the dateable. So you can actually date Randy. That's an interesting one. You can date Sam, Sunny, Victoria, Theo. So you can definitely go. There's, they've got a really good age range. You can do two presents a day to each of them by the looks of it, if you want to. And that'll be super handy once you're trying to catch up later on with presents. And generally presents are easier to get like in later game when you've got loads of stuff. So that's amazing. You can even date Connor. That's so good. I sometimes feel that um, like games often don't give you much choice. Like they give you a lot of choice, so they'll give you a choice of having like single sex relationships and they'll give you a choice of giving you um, like mixed race relationships and things like that, but quite often you don't get older characters to date. So I feel like that's really, really nice, especially if you are an older player, you might feel like some of these guys are a bit young for you or some of these girls are a bit young for you. Although I notice all the girls so far are quite young. Are there any older women? There seems to be a lot of older guys and young women. And Eleanor! You've got Eleanor, and she she is a middle-aged lady by the looks of it. I like that a lot. I like that you can have like any age of character you want. So you don't feel like you're kind of like, well, I'm like. I'm playing this game and I'm like 70 years old and there's no one for me. I've got to date this 20 year old, I feel weird, you know? So I, I like that, it gives a lot of options for people. So, let me see. We're at half past 10 already. I need to open my journal to claim my reward, nice. 150. We are very close to having enough money to upgrade the backpack and I really feel like that would be the best thing that I can do with my money to start with. And then when I harvest my crops, I'll put that back into effectively seed money. I also have a wasabi that I can stick in the box before I go to bed. Which will be rather wonderful. As they, I hopefully sell for a decent amount of money. I feel like we're doing quite well so far. I feel like it's actually quite organised for once in my life. And sometimes playing a game around for the second time is, is quite useful for that particular thing. No, not there. No, no. We want to put you in the cell box. There we are. So we've got wasabi, tulips. Hopefully I'll be able to scavenge them for the rest of the, the um, season. Because I worry that there'll be certain scavengeables that will only be like spring. And then I might need them in the summer and I won't have them sort of thing. It doesn't look like anything rots in this game, which is quite nice. So I can just keep them in a, get a chest, keep some of the forageables in there so that if I need to season anything with, with wasabi, I can. And I'm jabbering away and not sleeping, so we should definitely sleep. And we'll see if we've got 500 in the morning. I'm ignoring birthdays at the moment. Um, I will start paying attention to them once I actually have stuff to gift people. At the moment, I'm feeling a little bit poor, so <laughs> that will 
that will happen. Uh, we're 701 coins though, so that's quite nice. Starting to get there. So the first thing I want to do today, desperately want to do today, let's watch the TV. Let's, the detective, the mass detective, arc one. I try to be as normal as possible. Normal clothes, normal job. I always stand out enough with my hair and eyes. No need to make it any worse. Moki, Moki. Unfortunately for me, I have a gift I can't ignore. I will always search for the truth. Excuse me, Mom. I heard you're looking for a Moki. Yes, my cute little doggy. I think someone took her. The last time I saw her, she was napping in here. Hmm, interesting. Gotcha. She's here, Mom. Oh, Mrs. Sato. I was about to call you, but a telemarketer called me and wouldn't hang up. You hang up on them. That's the that's the deal with that. <laughs> Mochi just wandered in here. I think she smelled the ribs I was cooking. Oh, thank God, Mochi. How did you get here, Mochi? Even how did you get here? I can answer that. Mochi left through the open back door of your house. Then she snuck through this loose fence, walked all the way here. There's a loose fence. I need to get that fixed immediately. You naughty puppy! Don't ever do that again. Thank you so much, young man. Let me make you a cup of tea as thanks. Oh, no need, Mom. Seeing Mochi safe is all the reward I need. Well, case closed. Back to normal life for me. Oh, I like that there are complete stories. That's quite nice because sometimes when there's like story arcs and you miss a day, it's like, oh no. Can I harvest these yet? Or are they still a day out? But they might still be a day out. Um, they, they look pretty harvestable though. try with the scythe. No. Let me try with... Well, I guess, I guess they need another day then. Oh yeah, I bet you they they will open. They'll open, won't they? So they're probably gonna be ready at the beginning of next episode. We're pretty reliably doing half hour episode half hour days at the moment. So a two day a two day episode means that I, I spend about an hour on things. And that is absolutely fine by me. Once we've watered. I'm still needing to harvest my first crop. And uh, we've got a bug net now, and I've got enough money. I think probably the first thing I want to do now is to go to Sam's and buy that bag upgrade. I'm desperate for inventory space. It's like, are you kidding me? I've got I've got enough space right now for my tools and five, seven things. My tools, oh yeah, and maybe the candy tree seed isn't a tool, but like, like eight things. I can put eight things in my inventory. So an extra five will be huge. What's going on now? You're not welcome here. I hope that doesn't mean me. <gasps> Puffer fish. How dare you be here? And Karen! Evil Karen. <laughs> Hello all. Passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town out. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. We can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen, and please do elaborate, Ms. Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Ms. Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty... Uh, if I may, Red Shirt, we can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lake and across the beach. See where I'm going here? 
I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Puffer fish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town. You see? Creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. In no time, you'll all see this town alive again. Picture this! Puffer fish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier inside fish and ships. Oh, fish and sips. Enjoying life. Red shirt. Look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares anymore about this uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out, expand our operations here on Carol Island's coast. That will make this island a world famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. No. And by bailout, you mean drilling around the island? <clears throat> Puffer Fish's investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. <laughs> trickle down economics. Oh, always works. <laughs> Folks, let's call our heads. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. There's some people I don't know here. So if I could just move, that would be great. I could talk to them. Oh, well. Opportunity lost, as usual. <laughs> Jack to Karen, though. She lab, right? Oh, I know you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. No need to be confused, you don't know me. I'm Karen, I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. She that this island is dying, we both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. Right then. I think I haven't visited yet the blacksmiths. So I think we want to go and uh, maybe go up there. And there's a couple of strangers on the way. There's a few people I haven't met. Um, someone up by Scott. Someone up by Hillside Manor. There's someone up there. But yeah, I think I'm going to head to the blacksmiths and just go and chat to them. And anybody I see on the way that is someone I don't know already, I'll have a chat with. I'm just trying to get into all of the main sort of shops and things. There was apparently someone up here, but they move around so fast, it's like hard to keep up with them. So I'm just like, if I see you and you, and I don't know you, then we will become acquainted. So this is the blacksmith shop. And they might have something to say to me, they might not, I don't know. So I can upgrade my tools here, process a geode or copper, or I can shop. And it looks like I can uh, buy myself bronze, silver, or gold ores. I think I can get them once I can get under the sea though. Um, then I can also upgrade my tools and it looks like we can have uh, bronze, silver, or gold. Then also osmium, that looks like the top one. Okay, perfect. That is fine by me. So I've watered all my crops already. Uh, other than that, we're just trying to make money really and then I'll be able to make, uh, I'll be able to do things like buy chickens and cows and you know, things off Jack basically. But there's a bug there. Lady beetle, I could say, take that to the museum. There's any other bugs around? We should have a look around the forest and see. Uh, actually, no. First, let's go and buy that backpack upgrade because that's going to be super useful for bug hunting, right? Is that, I, I didn't go to the place I meant to go. Which isn't entirely <laughs> surprising. Alice, so it's an oil company, huh? I didn't think tourists are going to book her in again with oil drills around here. Probably not. I think you might be right on that one, Alice. Let's head into Sam's and grab the backpack. I'll take a look at the board as well. 
Who are you? Anne. Good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved to the farm. Welcome to the community. My name is Anne. Met Anne. Emma. So the rumours were true after all. Welcome to town. We got a new scientist in town last month. Can't remember his name, though. Anyway, I hope you like it here. Met Emma. Oh, that's Eva. Check on Betty. Uh, see if she's alright. She was, like, so upset at, puff at the pufferfish meeting. I've never seen her so worked up like that. No, it's not good for Mama to get worked up like the other day. Oh, so Betty's Noah's mum. Sure, sure, it's nice to meet you too. My name is Emma. Took a lot of advice from your new neighbour. Be patient. Since last year, those darn crops aren't growing like they used to. Right then, let's do some shopping for my bag upgrade. Yes. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was a nightmare. So now my bag looks like this. That's a bit better, isn't it? So the next bag upgrade will cost me three and a half thousand and it will take my storage to 30 from 20. So um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think there'll be, uh, that'll then open it up to there. And then there'll probably be another one after that, which will open the whole thing, I would imagine, if it's gonna add 10 slots next time. So this one only added me eight slots. Well, that is fine by me. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to head up to the lab and have a chat with them over there as well. I think. So where is the lab? Ling's lab. So that is up there. Let's go and have a little look. Also, there's something on the board I would like to have a look. Errand. Um, Kira is looking for a daisy. That would give me some friendship tokens or something. Friendship and money and those tokens. I don't know where daisies might be though. How long do I have to do it? Okay, urgent. It's urgent apparently. Let's check my journal. Urgent request. I've got two days to get a daisy to Kira. Okay then, where am I likely to find a daisy? Seems as I've never found a daisy yet, that's a bit of a tall order, but never mind. I'll pop into the lab and then we'll have a little, like, a little look around the forest areas and things and see if we can find any kind of daisy in there. Hopefully I don't need to grow one. If I need to grow one then I'm screwed. Soria, so pufferfish is here. That can't be good, right? I love the lab, it's so cool. Am I allowed to look at this yet? Self-serve self -serve shop temporarily closed until kibble field test complete. Okay. We're not quite there yet is basically what it's saying. Sort your farm out first. Go find your daisies first. We'll let you do that once we're ready. What's this up here then? Is that supposed to look like that? It looks incomplete. There's a lot of things that are incomplete. I love that they have mini golf. I wonder what flowers we can find around here. This is like a little park area. Oh, there's loads of butterflies here too. A little wood satyr, satyr bu butterfly, I'm guessing. Satyr? If I'm looking for flowers, I may as well have my bug net out, right? Not finding many flowers right now. Lots of flowers, but not ones that I can pick. That was a nice little view, wasn't it? Okay, I'll uh, take a sort of a little roll through the forest area. See if there's any daisies that I can pick there. 
This is maybe a terrible task to take, actually. But probably better that I now have an increased um, backpack size. No, I don't think there's anything there. I'm going to just head back up this way and head through the forest and see if I can find any daisies around there. I can see what might be a tulip up there. A tulip is not a daisy, so I'm not too worried about going back for it. Let's just keep looking. That area there. Mm. I've got up here I can have a look around. There's a flower going to grow back there. I'm not the best bug catcher in the world, let's put it that way. I can see many, many plants starting to grow here. Haha, I got a praying mantis. A couple of bugs for the uh the old the old museum there. Oh, what we're not seeing is any daisies. Which really sucks. There's a canola there. There's another butterfly there as well. A tiger swallowtail butterfly. My inventory looking... Not too bad. But I'm not too certain that I'm going to find a daisy today. I'm not having a lot of luck with that one. Assam silk moss. I'm doing great with my bug catching today, apparently. Wonderful. ran away though. I wasn't expecting that one and it was kind of slightly off the screen. That is, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, no daisies. I don't know what the penalty for not doing an urgent request is, if any. But I don't think I'm finding a daisy anytime soon. <laughs> Okay, I might just uh, hop foot over to the museum and pop in all of these things that I've caught. Because that's a good, like, four or five things into the museum already. I'm, like, very happy with myself on that one. The museum isn't far away from my farm, actually, if I go the right way, which is quite nice. So if I've been around collecting things, I can just sort of pop in here, donate... Oh, I got some kind of reward. Some candied tree seeds. Oh, they'll be handy. So it doesn't look like tulips, mango steens, canola, or shiitake mushrooms can go in the museum. But look, we're already putting some bugs in. We've got like butterflies and, and things all like popping around there. I haven't done any fishing yet. I probably should. And I'm guessing that these things around the outside are for gems and things like that. so much fun. You look like a little bug. Gotcha, I think. No, I didn't. Rah. How annoying. So there's violets around. Uh, there's tulips around. But daisies are not something I'm finding. Which says to me they might not be a findable thing.
Once it's flown off, sometimes it just... You're not going to get it anymore. Yeah. Okay. A polyphemus moth. The pair of eyes on its back. I'm finding a lot of moths and butterflies right now. Which makes me very happy. Shall I put that into the museum? Probably. I'm right across the road from it. Is that a little bug there? Oh no, that's dog toy. <laughs> I don't think that moth is one that I've already donated, so... Get in here. Pop that one in. So we're on seven donations of bugs already. So that is really going quite well. So seven out of 53 on my insect collection. I mean, 10 would be a fifth of the way through. That's not too bad going. Then I've still got quite a bit of stamina left, so I'm thinking I might just spend a little bit of time doing a bit more clearing on the yard before I go to bed. And I could do with going to the shop, I think, at some point, and maybe getting some nice cosy furniture for my house. I think that might not be... yeah. Might not be clearable. I think maybe we'll push over to this side a bit more as well. Clear a few rocks, clear a few stones. I don't know what we need for the next house upgrade, but I think it might be quite useful just to be slowly collecting stones and wood. And what are my quests at the moment? Sort the museum out. Urgent request for Kira. I just can't do it. I'm still just trying to harvest my first crop. So, I mean, that's just a thing you just... And it's always going to be a certain amount of days before you can actually do that. So I, I'm pretty sure because I planted them on the first, the second, third, fourth. So we're on the third day. Tomorrow will be the fifth, which will be the fourth day. So next episode, we will be able to harvest our crops. And that might push the story along a little bit for me, hopefully. Um, I'm thinking as well that the museum, the quest for that is going to probably be pushed along by the amount that I donate to it. So the more I can, the quicker I can do that. The quicker we can make it good but obviously we've only just only just had the had the meeting with karen so that's like you know we're really early game oh no it's getting late i gotta run to bed okay i think that is where i'm gonna end the episode today so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. Let's just see what we did overnight, actually, first, before I say keep being awesome. Not a lot. So I hope to see you all next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.